All right, so I am doing a uh, update, storage update on my computer because I ran out of uh, space on one of my storage drives. So the one I got now is uh, one terabyte. And I'm going to be updating it with a uh, four terabyte Seagate Barracuda. I have another model version of these in my NAS. Those might be eight terabytes. So I'm going to cut away, go to the computer and show you how to do it. All right. So before you start, you are going to need um, some type of docking station or or SATA to USB cord hookup to, to plug into your computer so your computer can uh, actually read the blank hard drive. All right, so now you wanna go over here, you wanna search disk. Not disk part, but disk. And then you wanna to go to create format disk. Make that big. So when you first plug in your hard drive, it's going to say, hey, do you want to use MBR or GPT? If your hard drive is more than two terabytes, use GPT. If it's not, you, you, you'll you be okay going with MBR. MBR has a, a cap of uh, two terabytes. And since this is a four terabyte hard drive, you know, I want to be able to use as much of the space on there as I possibly can. So you want to... After you get that, uh, select that to be converted to uh, GPT, you want to right click and click on new simple volume. And I'm going to use 100% of it. I'm not going to assign a uh, drive letter at this time. And I'm just going to name it that because you can always come back and rename it what you want later. So now this is going to format. That's going to take, all right, so it didn't take no time. Formatted almost immediately. So a note to anybody out there, if you're cloning a, uh, like a disc that has an operating system on there, if you're, if you're, if that disc is MBR, when you clone it, it's going to convert the other disc, uh, back to, uh, it's going to, it's going to change it from GPT back to MBR. You don't want that, but so I don't need to clone this disk that I'm using because this is just my, um, this is just why I store like files and extra games. I don't have any programs stored on here. So I'm basically just going to copy them and then paste them over to the new one. You do have to assign it a drive letter, but what I'm going to do is after it's finished copying, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to, when I take this one out and put this one inside the, inside the physical, uh, inside the physical computer and not the docking station, I'm going to just change, change this name to this and then rename it this drive letter. And, uh, yeah, so, and that should be that. So like all my steam games and stuff like that, uh, it still should be readable. This is going to take about four hours. So, yep. And that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to the next video will be me me actually physically putting the hard drive in the computer. So, I got the uh files copied over. Now I have to go in here and uh take out the slide the old drive out and put the new one back in. All right, so I got the old hard drive out. Now I'm going to turn the computer back on. All right, so the last step is I'm going to open up Disk Manager again. And here is my uh, the 4 terabyte hard drive that we just copied the files over to. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to change uh, the drive letter. So the old one was P, so I'm going to change this one to P. And then click yes to that. 
and then I'm gonna go to I'm gonna right click and then go to properties and then I'm gonna change this to storage because that was the name of my other one and that's pretty much it so all right so all you got to do is restart your computer and then steam will uh it'll it'll research for your games so i went back to settings went to storage manager and i see my storage p drive actually showed up with all the games that i have on it already so mortal kombat 11 100 something gigs grand theft auto 500 and five gigs and so on and so on so you know now i have about 2.5 terabytes free uh versus i was i was down to about 60 ish gigabytes and that's like one game not even a not even a game you know with the size that these games be nowadays but uh thanks for checking out the video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel peace out